Hi, welcome to your midweek minutes for module one. And midweek minutes is a little video that I'll be posting uh, each week in the announcement section just to give you a little update about what's happening in class. Uh, sometimes it's going to focus on the content of a particular module. Uh, other times it's going to talk about uh, assignments that we're doing. Um, and uh, that's what we're going to be doing this week. I want to talk to you a little bit more about your best practices group project. Okay, As I've indicated in this class, you have uh, a number of activities that you do in groups. Uh, so for instance, you're doing a case study discussion in groups. Um, but you're also doing another project, a group project that spans uh, most of the course, uh, where you, as a, as a group, are looking at best practices in organizational behavior. Now, there's different ways that you can access your group uh, that you're going to be working with. And so, if you look on your main menu, under the heading of Course Activities, there is an area called Group Work Area. And that is a way, if you click on that link, you can, it'll give you links to your case study group and your best practices group. Another area that you can go to underneath the main menu is called My Groups. Okay, and I'm scrolling down. You can see underneath here it says My Groups. Now I'm listed as a member of all of these groups. Uh, you will have one best practices group and one case study group. Okay, so I've clicked on the best practices group project and uh, for group one. And in here it tells you a little bit about what this group project entails. And as you can see at the top, it gives the topic that has been assigned to group one. If you're not in group one, you've been assigned a different topic. Okay, um, one of the first things you should be doing right now uh, is to get familiar with the assignment. Okay, so reading over this area in the in this group area is is one step that you can take to do that. Another thing that you can do is to actually read the more detailed assignments. Okay, and you can find that in a couple places. So if you go to the assignments area in Blackboard. This shows you uh, folders for all the various types of assignments including the best practices group project. So you can click on that and they're in there. Click on the folder that says best practices group project and in it you will find uh, a link to the assignment and also uh, various videos that will help you to get more familiar with the assignment. Now if you're in your group area for your best practices group project. Another place you can go is to this area called file exchange. Okay, That's in underneath here, underneath where it says group tools. If you click on file exchange, you will see that there is a file in there already called best practices group project assignment. Okay, That is the same uh, description of the assignment that's in the assignment area. Okay, But it's in your file exchange. Your group has this file exchange. It's a place where you can post research articles, parts of your paper, other things that you want to share with each other. So it's kind of like your own group cloud space that you can use. Um, and so, and so, what I would say is that you should go and look at this best practices group project assignment and read it over carefully. Um, so that you can develop a good sense of what's going on and what I'm expecting of you in that. Uh, if you look at that, you'll see that on page two, I give you an initial timeline of what you should be doing in this. And, and again, for this week, you should be reading over the assignment. And the second thing you should be doing is uh, getting to know your group members. Okay, so if we go back to the group page, you can also go down here to the group discussion board. And if you click on your group discussion board, this is, this is a discussion area for just your group. And you'll see that there is a, a forum that is started here 
where you can introduce yourself to one another. You can exchange contact information. Many groups find it useful if they uh, exchange phone numbers or if they want to text with each other, if they have alternative phone numbers that they want to use. Um, you should be this week getting together and exchanging that information and next week you need to start getting together as a group and start developing your project plan. And again, on that assignment, I identify what I'm looking for in a project plan. Okay, the, In the third week of class, I'm expecting to meet with you and your group on Blackboard Collaborate so we can dis discuss your project plan and make sure that you're off to a good start. Okay, So your group will have periodic meetings with me to update me on how you're doing and executing your project plan and it will culminate in you as a group presenting a, a paper and a PowerPoint presentation where you use Blackboard Collaborate to do an audio-visual presentation as a group. Okay, So just to kind of go to an overview of where you should be now in terms of your best practices group project. Okay, You should be reviewing the assignments. Okay, And you can either find that in the assignments folder or in your group area under the file exchange. I have that assignment listed there. The second thing you should be doing is going to your group discussion board area for your best practices group and introducing yourself and exchanging information and maybe even generating some discussion about questions that you have about this assignment. Okay. So one thing I want to emphasize is for this assignment or any other aspect of class, there are many ways to get in touch with me. And you really should be asking questions. You can do that on the course questions discussion board. You can do that by emailing me. You can do that by coming to my office hours or making an appointment to meet me in person. You can do that by calling my office phone or even you can do that by calling my cell phone, which I've listed in the instructor tab. I do ask that you don't call my cell phone before 9 a.m. or after 9 p.m., but uh, beyond that, you can call me seven days a week uh, on my cell phone if you do have a question. Okay, so there's lots of ways to get in touch with me. Uh, this is a demanding class, but it is uh, very doable. You, this is not the first time that I've done this. Uh, many successful students have gone through this class and I'm, I'm very hopeful that you will be added to that list. Uh, again though, if you have any questions, you need to be proactive and ask me these questions. So look forward to a great semester with you. Encourage you to be active in this class and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye now.